Today I'm going to go over um, color LUTs uh, and how to use them in Spark Air. I've created a patch for your convenience. Um, you can grab it at this URL, Pause Labs Spark LUT Patch. Um, so if you don't know what a LUT does, basically um, it's how Instagram gets their like it's part of the way Instagram gets their looks. So you can take a regular boring image and apply a LUT to it and it, it does color grading and makes it look generally much better. Um, so to do that, I have this patch um, that takes the camera texture as an input and then uh, a color LUT image um, and just applies it to a material. So you can download um, the LUT file, uh, I already have it on my computer, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and in the repository, there's a bunch of, uh, like presets from Photoshop. And then I grabbed some from, um, another website. I don't remember the name of it, but, um, yeah, various color LUTs that you can use out of the box. Um, so let's get to it. So the first thing is to drag in the LUT patch. You can drag it into the assets panel, hopefully. I swear this works unless I'm doing a demo. <laughs> Import from computer maybe? No, okay, it's just going real slow. Okay. Um, so, shortcut to open patch editor is a uh, command shift P. Um, you can also get to it um, somewhere, somewhere in the menu, but I use the shortcut. So you just drag that on um, and then so you want to pick a LUT. Let's just grab a grab a random one. Um, something very obvious. There we go. Yeah, so that one's going to be super obvious when it's applied. Dragging that on, drag that in. Um, and then the texture, um, you can apply this to any texture, but generally you're gonna wanna apply it to like the entire scene. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna add a, oh, add a canvas. And then I'm going to put a plane in the canvas. Well, actually, I'll try a rectangle. This is supposed to work, but I don't know. Um, OK, well, I don't see the sizing. There's flexibility, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how to do this. So instead, I'm going to use a plane. So to get the, the correct sizing on the plane, um, I also have a patch for that. Um, let's see, what's it called? Fit to screen. Um, that's, that's also on GitHub, you can grab it. Okay, so that scale is going to go to the plane, which it's going to be incorrect because the the default units changed. So instead of one hundred, this is now point one. 
I think they changed it from like meters to centimeters or vice versa, something like that. Um, and then to get the screen size and screen scale, you drag the device into the patch editor and pipe those in. And then you have a nice plane that fits the screen. Um, so next, what do we need? So we, we got the LUT. So we need the actual camera texture now. So the camera texture can be pulled in from camera. You click texture extraction and then you get a camera texture. Uh, so just drag that onto the patch editor and then pipe it in. Okay, so now we need a material for a plane. So by default, it, it defaults to standard because it, I don't know, it thinks you're always going to be doing 3D stuff. But for 2D stuff, um, just use flat because you don't, you don't want any lighting or anything. Um, and then for the texture, um, we're not going to pick it. We're going to send it to the patch editor. And then we pipe our LUT into there. And that's it. Um, so there's all these preset LUTs, um, which are great, but generally like you're making a custom filter, right? So you, you might want to make a custom LUT too. Um, so in the repository, I, I added, uh, the PSD that was used to create all of the LUTs. So you can see, if you open that up, you can see how that works. Um, so these are all the. Solarize isn't one of the default, but Candlelight's one. Um, so Photoshop has a bunch of built-in LUTs. Um, and you can make them with an adjustment layer. So color lookup is what you need. And then you can load in LUTs from other places. Like there's a ton of websites out there. Um, custom ones, but these are all the built-in ones. Um, so if you select that and then put an image under it, it will affect the image. So this is the neutral LUT. So by default, it doesn't do anything until you make some kind of adjustment to it. So the idea is that you take the neutral and you, you edit it um, with whatever kind of color modifications you want. So you can do like selective color. So you can only select like bright greens and uh, pump the saturation on them, whatever effect you're going for. Um, somebody posted this in the group today. So I'm going to use this as an example of like, um, a starting point and then like I'm going to try to replicate um, this kind of color treatment with a custom LUT. So I haven't done this before. Um, I'm still kind of trying to work out how to do it in my head. But it looks like uh, the lights coming from kind of above and in front of the model. So like the, the brightest areas would be this blue. And, uh, and darker areas, probably more like orange. And then, I don't know, there's also some yellow going on here. Maybe the, the mid-tones are more like yellowish. So, <clears throat> the way to, to apply this effect, I think, would be a gradient map. So I'm just going to make a new document. My machine doesn't like running all of these apps at once. Especially Spark. So I'm going to save this. So the, the tutorial file the project files aren't up there yet, but they will be 
um, once I'm done actually making the thing. Um, so I made a repository, um, Deposit Lab Sparklet tutorial. That'll be up there, um, I don't know, at 10 or so. Okay, so now that Spark is closed, maybe this will go faster. All right, so I'm going to start with the neutral copy and let's put a gradient map on it. So white is not going to do anything, but you can, you can see, you can get an idea of what's happening here. Um, so essentially um, it starts from dark and goes to light um, and these values are all mapped to um, kind of grayscale. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make a custom, this thing. This app is supposed to silence notifications, but I can't figure out how to make it work. Maybe I'll just quick roam. I think we're done with it. Hopefully it doesn't kill the stream. Um, so yeah, here's the gradient editor. So let's uh, let's go. Let's actually pull this image in. Just so we can sample from it. Why is it? They change controls in Photoshop at some point. Okay, there we go. There's our guy. So, I wonder if there's an easier way to edit this. New gradient. Oh, okay, cool. So you can sample straight from there. Um, so let's start with black and white. So I think you can hold Alt, yeah, and drag to make new stops. So under like how many colors we have. Um, one, two, three or four, five. Maybe five colors in there. So I'm going to start with the blue. It's a little pixelated because the, the source image was small. So blue, or is there a smooth transition? It's all kind of hard edges. So maybe for the blue, it's like actually more of a range like that, and then you can get a, a hard edge with the blue. And then the next color, it's really hard to say exactly, but maybe it goes to dark blue. color, maybe that orangish, and then from there, I don't know, yellow, <laughs> just a lot of guesswork, but uh, if you're creating the effect yourself, it's a little easier because uh, you get to go through the whole process of like exactly how you want it to behave. Um, but for our purposes, we're trying to do a copycat. So what would the darkest color be? I 
I'll just go with black for now, just so we can get something in there. So there's what our what looks like. Looks pretty good. Actually, that's bothering me. I do like hot pink. Okay, so let's save this out. This is PMG. Um, crazy. And now we get a bust open spark again. I'm going to close some of these. So same thing, um, just drag the lead in and drop it there. So I mean, you probably spend days tweaking this, but um, it's looking like pretty good. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a a quick rundown on like what the process is of making your own custom LUTs. So I actually want to see what this looks like when I'm in the picture. So I don't know what webcams aren't great, but you can see the, the, the blue, the blue is like the brightest. That's my, my window. So it's a, a bit of sunlight coming in there. So you can really play around with the uh, the gradients and like where they cut off. So if you want harder edges, you can um, you can do that in a gradient um, and get more of the, like a, a cartoonish like cell shaded look. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I've been trying to do these videos regularly, so if you like them, please subscribe, um, and I'll see you on the next one.